Howdy and welcome back to another Bevy video. Today I just wanted to show a small project I worked on over Thanksgiving break. I had some free time and some plane flights, so I thought I'd make a small rogue style game and see how far I could get. Here is my result. I have a grid that is the play area, a log on the side, and a status bar on the bottom. The player has two hands that can be swapped between with X. If I walk into the vending machine, I can select between any of its options, and the choice will be put into my hand if it's open, or on the ground if my hand is full. I can press G to pick up items from the ground, and if there's just one item, I'll pick it up, but if there's multiple, I'll get the selection menu again. Now I can press C to activate or use the item in my hand. For example, I can start the lighter, which changes its color. Finally, I can press C to start a combined mode, and then swap pans and press C again to use the lighter on the cigarette and light it. That's pretty much all I have for now, but I have a lot of the core systems in place that I think I want for this game. My inspirations of course are Space Station 13 and Caves of Cud. I really like the hand system in Space Station 13, and I think that's a part of what makes playing the game so immersive for me. It feels like you're a real person when you constantly have to think about having hands and what's in them. Maybe I'm crazy, but I kinda like it no matter how clunky it is. My idea is to have items that all work based on this combination system, so the screwdriver could interact with the vending machine to open its panel, and the lighter can start any fires. Given my source material and design ideas, I'm probably making an aggressively inaccessible, unplayable, and unfun game, but I think it'll at least be interesting to me. Code-wise, I'm making this open source, of course, but this is my disgusting messing around code quality, so don't take anything here as the correct way to approach things. The coolest thing I have is a plugin for a generic grid system, which I've been working on for a little while. You can add the grid for any component, and then it will automatically put the sprites at the right location and track where they are in the grid. So all my game logic just reads the grid location component and checks the grid's methods to see if there's an entity at that spot. In a future version of Bevy, I'll probably remake this with entity relations and component hooks, but for now it works great and I only have to fix bugs a little bit at the time. My logs work on commands, so any system can just add a command and the log will populate itself. All the text rendering is actually done with ASCII sprites and not fonts, so that's a bit disgusting, but also hopefully charming in a weird way. The status bar is also rendered with a command to update the bar. The central menu is a bit weird, but basically anything can open it up and then that entity becomes responsible for it. The menu itself has some options like add row or clear menu and responds to events to close it. It's kind of janky, but it seems to work for now and it should make the UX uniform between the vending machine and other crazy machines I add in the future. Everything else works kind of like you'd expect. Most things are communicated through events and systems just read those events. Like the lighter combination system just checks any time there is a combination event to see if it's a fire source being used on something that is burnable. I'm hoping this is scalable, but the only real way to know is to keep building out the game, so we'll see. That's pretty much all I have to say about this project for now, and I'm going to be putting it on hold until Christmas when I'll have more time to just work on it. But for now, I'm starting the Bevy Game Jam, and I hope you all participate as well. The code is up on GitHub with a link in the description, and as always, thank you to my wonderful Patreons, and thank you for watching.